sauce now you want. Going hard in the paint. And that's how you assert dominance. Hey what's up guys, it's JKK Tag, and today we're back at it again pushing up high ladder with giant double prints. At this point in the metagame, I really feel that the double prints combination needs a nerf, it is just so incredibly strong. The prince just does so much DPS, and the dark prince's splash damage cleans up all the squishy units, allowing the prince to actually get through to the units that matter. Because of Ice Spirit, you're going to be able to outcycle a lot of your opponent's counters to giant, even P.E.K.K.A. After the initial P.E.K.K.A. ends up killing your giant, all you gotta do is drop a mega minion, the mega minion will DPS down the P.E.K.K.A., you cycle back to another giant, and they will not be back to P.E.K.K.A. Also, Due to the increase in popularity of Minion Horde, I've really preferred Electro Wizard over Musketeer in this deck because now you have Zap, Ice Spirit, Electro Wizard, and Poison all to deal with Minion Horde and squishy units. So this giant double prince deck will completely hard counter any three Musketeer Minion Horde deck. And if you don't have Electro Wizard just yet, you can just sub it out for Musketeer. You're just gonna have a little bit more difficult of a time against those three Musketeer Minion Horde decks. Anyway, this deck is incredibly easy to use and it's one of the strongest decks in the game for ladder and grand challenges. So let's go jump straight into some high ladder games and let's assert some dominance. All right, guys, so we got a game against Master. We got to show him who his true master is. We're going to be dropping the Ice Spirit at the river. And we want to see what he's up to. We don't really want to make a huge first play. He's going to be dropping the Giant in the back. So we're going to rush opposite lane with the Giant and the Dark Prince. He's expended 5 Elixir, and he has to deal with our 5 Elixir first. So we're going to have a Prince to deal with his Giant. He's dropping a Dark Prince, and he's also going to be dropping the Mega Minion. So what I want to do is first and foremost respond to his uh, Giant. My Prince is going to get a very nice charge off. And he's not going to have a great answer to that. He's just going to go drop his Musketeer. We're going to drop our Mega Minion to make sure that we don't have Crippling Depression from the, the Mini Pack. The Mini Pack gets one hit, but it's not too bad. I hope that the Prince gets a charge off on the Musketeer and barely does. Oh, that Prince with his dying breath. He is a true sir, guys. Let's get some respect for him in the comment section. So this man, <laughs> Master, he is running the same deck as me, but he's got Musketeer and he's got Mini Pekka. So he's probably got Multifarious Spells. He's probably going to have Log, Poison, or Fireball. He's probably going to have at least three spells. So I don't really know exactly what he's running, but we're just going to make the same play. We're going to be dropping our Giant. Uh, we're going to be dropping the Dark Prince in the back, and we're not going to go right into this Giant. We're just going to let our Dark Prince die, and then we're going to drop our Giant in the same lane. We want to fight on our side of the map. We want to make sure that his giant is going on our side of the map, so then our tower is going to be shooting at it, because defender's advantage is absolutely humongous. So we're going to be dropping our prince, our prince will get a charge, and then we're going to go drop our mega minion, because he's not going to have enough elixir for the musketeer just yet. So that mega minion of ours is going to get some absurd value, our prince is raining in the pain, and notice how the dark prince early on got all that chip damage for us? I really like the start of this game for us. So I'm, I'm not feeling too bad about this, I'm just going to go drop my electro wizard to make sure... The uh, Mega Minion doesn't finesse me, and the Prince still gets a hit off on the Musketeer. So this is looking very clean for me at the moment. I just want to keep dropping my, I want to just keep dropping my tank first, and then have all the supporting units go behind that, and not really have to worry about dropping a Dark Prince in front and then having absolutely no value. So we're doing really well. Our Santa Claus on the, our Santa Claus is in the same plane as his. We're gonna be dropping our Prince, and because the Prince actually ramps up over time compared to a mini P.E.K.K.A., it's going to do way more damage. It's going to get that charge off, and I feel like we will capture this W. We're going to go drop our Mega Minion, and then we're going to get some absurd poison value. This is going to encapsulate the Mega Minion. It's going to hit the Musketeer as well, and if he goes in for a Fireball on an E-Wiz or a Musketeer, it's not going to kill it, whereas the poison does. So this is awesome for me. I'm going to go in for a Zap to make sure that the Mega Minion ends up dying, so then we retain health on our Princes. I'm also going to try to drop a Giant. Unfortunately, our Princes, oh no, they are going behind it, but he's got a Dark Prince to finish it off. Oh, that was tragic. If he didn't have the Dark Prince there, that would have been awesome for us. I'm going to go in for a Poison for some extra chip damage, also to make sure that uh, I don't really have to deal with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And what I want to do here is, okay, all right, he's going really hard in the paint. I don't understand that play with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. It's going to just die to the Prince's Lance. No, he went in for a Zap. He knew that the uh, Prince gets the first shot off because of the range. It's a little bit higher than the Mini P.E.K.K.A. So he went in for the Zap. That was a really good play by Master. Gotta hand it to him here, but we just need one more Santa Claus hit. We're gonna go in for the Zap, and that is literally gonna spell doom for him. Good game, well played, and good luck, Master. But we are the master of this game, sir. All right, guys, so we got a game against Demar, and he's already dropping the Spear Goblins at the river. Steven the Spear Goblin has revolted against me. It feels so bad to have the Steven try to attack my tower and try to assault me like that, man. So we're going to go drop our giant in the back, and he's going to go split his goblin gang, so he's probably going to be rocking Mortar Hog Rider or some type of Logbait deck. I'm going to go in with the Dark Prince, and he's probably rocking Logbait Dark Prince with uh, Princess and Goblin Barrel, if I had to guess now. So we're going to go in for a Mega Minion, he's got Double Prince now, so I was not expecting the Double Prince, I was just expecting the Dark Prince or the Prince. He's also got Poison, so very interesting deck, but our Princes are just asserting dominance on him. I wonder if our Prince will actually get a shot. We're going to go in for a Pre-Zap, please give me that hit. Let's go, guys. That was critical damage. 
barely at the nick of time getting that last Prince hit. It is crippling depression to see that happen to him. Alright, so we've identified what he's rocking. He's got Poison Zap. He's got Spear Goblins. He's got Goblin Gang. He's got Double Princes. Very interesting deck. I don't know if he has room for Goblin Barrel in this deck anymore. Regardless, we're going to go in for our Giant in the back. We're going to start off our push. We're trying to drop our tank before we drop any supporting units. And he's actually going to have Double Prince Giant as well. So, was not expecting that after seeing Spear Goblins and Goblin Gang. But this man, he's got the sauce. So, we're going to go in for our Dark Prince. We're going to ramp things up with our Princes. And we want to get a lot of damage here because we definitely are up Elixir. We're going to be going in for a Zap to make sure that we stop the Prince's Charge and then also eliminate the Bats. So, that worked out fantastically for me. My Princes will also start to work on top of his Princes first and foremost. If you kill their tank before they kill your tank, then your uh, supporting units are just going to get absurd amount of value. So, we're going to go in for an Ice Spirit just to make sure we stop everything in its tracks and barely end up dealing with the Princes in time. Wow, the Steve and the Spear Goblins, they are OP, man. They need to stop messing with me like that. Oh, Damar, he's actually a pretty good player. So from everything that I've seen so far, he's going to be uh, a very difficult opponent. We're going to go drop our Giant in the back, and his Giant is dropped first, so that means he's up Elixir. At least we will have Defender's Advantage with us, so hopefully that works out pure, uh, pretty nicely for me. So he's going to give me a very nice Zap value yet again, so I don't understand that. Definitely just going to go stop Double Princes and then go drop a High Electric Wizard since he already, uh, he already gave us enough value for that, so... I'm, I'm down with that. If you drop your poison, I can actually get away with just going in for a... Uh, I can get away with a high Electro Wizard, so worked out really nicely. I'm going to have to go in for a Zap to make sure that I keep my Prince alive, and it does not stay alive. Oh, this is terrible, man. I don't know if I'll be able to defend this adequately, but he's continuously bridge spamming me, so maybe we'll be able to bounce back. Our Mega Minion will deal with his, and oh man, he is going hard in the paint on us. We're going to have to go drop an Electro Wizard. We will end up cleaning up the Dark Prince, and our Mega Minion will still stay alive, but we are down damage right now. Oh, Damar, why are you doing me dirty like this, bro? Steven, stop this. So we're going to go in for another giant behind our uh, tower, and now we're even elixir. So our defense did pay off. We did uh, actually end up trading a lot of damage on our tower to defend everything and get our elixir back. So he's going to go in for the double princes. I hope he goes in for another uh, cycle of cycle of bats so I can get off the of zap, but he's not doing it. We're going to have to go in for a poison. We're going to clip the spear goblins. He's not able to drop anything on top, and now we're going to go in for a giant ahead of our two princes. We cycled back to one just in the nick of time. We're going to go in for a zap. He drops the bats right inside the poison, and I think this is where he uh, he gets spanked, guys. I feel this is the, the pain train actually commencing. Poison coming down. We're going to be saucing out the good game, and we're going to collect our W. Good game, well played, and good luck in the rest of your ladder session. It's just double prints every single game right now. It's just so strong. All right, guys, so we got a game against Warboy, and we're going to be saucing out the good luck. We're going to get ready with the Mega Minion in the back. Actually, I don't want to drop my Mega Minion. This is a really bad hand. I'm not going to drop anything. If I cycle Mega Minion, I don't have anything in sight for a Balloon. So that is something that you always have to be cognizant of. You don't want to be cycling cards if you can easily get punished. And that was one of those hands that I really just could not justify cycling a Mega Minion. If he went opposite lane with Ice Golem Balloon, that would have been disastrous. Oh, man. All right. I already dropped the giant as soon as he dropped the minion horde, so that was pretty disastrous as well. I don't even think my prince will get a hit. Unfortunately for me, I actually have to go in for a mega minion and incur that massive negative elixir trade. So, not the best start for us, guys, but I feel like we can bounce back in this game. I'm hoping that I can bounce back in this game. And we've identified that he's got log. He's probably running... Alright, no, this is three musketeers. I was going to say it was going to be mortar, but this is definitely going to be a three musketeer deck. I hope he goes in for a minion horde or something along the lines of that. All right, nope, he's just going to keep bridge spamming me. We're going to go in for a Dark Prince. Dark Prince does so well against the Goblins, obliterates all those, and then it's going to work on the uh, the Knight, and it's going to give me a pretty positive Elixir trade. I wonder if he still has to respond to the Dark Prince. I feel like he might have to, and he does with the Ice Spear. Awesome. So that Dark Prince's utility was unparalleled. Not only did it kill the Knight and the Goblin Gang, it also brought out an Ice Spirit. So that was a 4 for 7 trade, and I'll definitely take that. Gonna go for Ice Spirit Zap to finish off the entire Minion Horde, and what does he have for the Prince? The Prince is barreling down the lane, it gets a hit off on the tower, and wow, yeah, he sauces out the well played because he knows he got a little bit of finesse there. And I assume he's probably gonna go in for a pump in the back, he's got 3 Musketeers, I assume. I don't really understand this deck completely, so I'm gonna go in for a Giant in the back, I hope he pumps up or he drops 3 Musketeers. Either way, we're going to be in a great situation. So he drops his knight in the back. Interesting. So what I want to do is I want to go drop my Dark Prince. And I want to hold poison for his three Musketeers or his pump, whichever he decides to do. Actually, that was a really late pump, so I'm not even going to worry about it. As soon as he drops three Musketeers in the middle, I will go in for a poison. I don't know if he might. Uh, you know, yep, there, there it is. 
Oh, I, I had the wrong card selected, so that was a little bit late, but it's still fine. We're still chilling. And as long as our Dark Prince gets a hit off, yep, that's what I'm talking about. So our Prince should get through. No, that was a really nice defense by him. So unfortunately, because I slipped up and I just did not get the poison down in time, we were not able to do that. So I fat fingered that like it was my job, guys. I'm not going to even lie to you. I'm going to have to go in for an Ice Spirit and then go in for an Electro Wizard to finish off the Minion Horde. And that's another really good thing that you can't really do with Musketeer. You have multifarious answers to the skill horde. So not something that he wanted to see, obviously. When I go in for a poison on two of the Musketeers or one of the Musketeer, whichever one is going to go towards the tower, he's going to have to log us back. And we're just going to go in for a zap to make sure that the dark or the uh, prince gets on top of the tower. We're going to let one of the musketeers lock on. Then we're going to drop our dark prince. And this is going to be GG, well played, and good luck. Despite the small slip up of not dropping the poison on time, that was a rather clean game. And as you guys can see, it destroys three musketeers. Another game against a fellow Nova account. So we're going to be dropping an ice spirit at the river. And he's probably going to be running Pekka. All right. So are your bodies prepared for us to beat Pekka? I'm, I certainly am. So he's going to go drop his dark prince. He's going to give us some... He's going to give us some very nice poison value, guy. Take that poison value. You can't pass up on that. Hopefully the Dark Prince does die inside the poison and we don't have to respond to it. I like seeing that. And he's going to go in really hot. So we got to go in for a zap and then drop our Electro Wizard. If we drop the Electro Wizard first, sure, it would do the same thing. But then the Electro Wizard would get stabbed by the Stab Goblins. And we don't want that to happen. Much rather wait and allow my Electro Wizard to be a little bit healthier. So he's got so many Spear Goblins. What is this deck, dude? This is absurd how many... How many zap bait cards he has in it so we're gonna go in for the ice spirit and then our dark prince i still don't really know what he's rocking like this just doesn't make too much sense to me he's gonna drop his dark prince yet again he's gonna give us still some more poison value so i will take it and the dark prince on dark prince action we do not have to respond to it so that's pretty nice for me and i've identified what he's running i think he's running a minor poison without pekka i think it's just like skill horde i think skill horde is his last card that he hasn't shown yet so I want to go in for a giant in the back. I want to pressure opposite lane. I don't really want to go same lane into the goblin hut. I don't want to allow all those spear goblins to go into us and just rack up behind our giant. It's just not something I'm about, man. So he's going to go in for yet again another goblin gang, but I can just go in for a zap. And because he doesn't have minor, I don't have to deal with it, right? So I am going to eat those though, because I know that he has minion horde. I want to save my ice spirit for the minion horde that's about to happen. So here we go. We're going to go drop our ice spirit. We're going to go drop our poison. And hopefully we're going to be able to finesse him. Our Ice Spirit comes down and clobbers his Dark Prince. He has to go in for a zap. But we actually have a Mega Minion, a uh, Giant barreling down the right-hand lane. And I don't know what he has to respond to this. I mean, he's definitely got a Minion Horde, but he's not dropping it. Oh, the Dark Prince is finishing him off. The Mega Minion is going to get on top of the tower. And he hasn't even dropped his Minion Horde yet. So, wow. All right. All right, guys. Let's get it. Dropping our Giant in the back. We know that the Miner will do a stagnant 500 damage. It doesn't really matter too much. Well, at Tournament Standard, it does 500. We're just going to let that happen. We're going to try to build up a pretty massive push here. And we're going to try to make sure that all of our units are, are behind our giant. So our Dark Prince actually adventured off in front, unfortunately. So we're going to go in with an Ice Spirit. And then we're going to have to go in for an Electro Wizard. We're still going to be holding Zap. And uh, we're going to go in for our Zap just now to clean up the majority of the Goblin Gang. It's looking really solid for me at the moment. I'm going to go in for another Santa Claus. And because we have the Electro Wizard still on the field, I don't know what he has to answer this. We're going to go in for a Mega Minion. And I want to see what we can do. I know that he's probably going to be able to finish off our tower with 8 seconds left. He's going to go drop a Miner. And he's going to be dropping the Miner in the back. We got to go drop a Prince. All right, this is coming down to the wire, boys. One second left in 29 HP, and we barely caught the W. Wow. I realized that the Dark Prince effect on top of the tower was definitely going to be a good game. And that's actually where I'm going to end today's video. This is by far my favorite Double Prince deck. And I really think that Double Prince needs a nerf. I hope that it's coming soon, Supercell. Also, if you guys are interested in the statistics of this deck or any other trophy pushing deck, feel free to go check it out at royaleapi.com. The link will be down below as the pinned comment. It will also be in the description of the video. The quick copy deck link will also be down below in the pinned comment, so make sure to test it out and let me know down below in the comment section how it ends up working for you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for chilling with me, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Peace out.